Hello, welcome to Chris's Beer Reviews. How are you? As per normal, how are you? I do hope you are doing well, and I do mean that. I hope you are all well, uh, especially as we're coming up right up to close to Christmas now, so I'm hoping everyone's going to be well for Christmas and not have any colds, illnesses, COVIDs, etc. So today's review, we're doing a uh, Sam Smith's beer. Now, I was convinced I'd reviewed this beer, absolutely convinced I'd reviewed it. Uh, I was convinced I'd reviewed a number of Sam Smith's beers, but I actually haven't. I've only actually ever re reviewed one, and it was quite some time back. But I've got the organic chocolate stout, and I was absolutely convinced I'd reviewed it. I'm sure I've had it. I must have had it if I was convinced I'd reviewed it. And I went through all my videos three times and didn't find it. Uh, so obviously I haven't reviewed it. I really thought I'd reviewed more Sam Smith's beers than I had, because I generally like most Sam Smith's beers. But anyway... I'm just waffling on. There it is. It's the Samuel Smith's Organic Chocolate Stout uh, coming in at... What does this come in at? 5% ABV in a 500ml bottle. It's cheap as chips, this stuff as well. Um, and they make great beer, Sam Smith's. They do make some good old beer. So this one's the Organic Chocolate Stout, as I've said. So let's crack on with it. Let's get it out, get in the glass, see how she looks, how she sniffs and how she tastes. Brewed up in Tadcaster, Sam Smith. Um, you probably mostly, I'm sure you're probably aware, Samuel Smith was the brother of John Smith's. Um, and we all know what's happened to John Smith's, but Samuel Smith is still an independent brewery, which is fantastic. And yeah, most of their beers are pretty solid for their money. They're just good beers for their money. This says it's best served at 11 degrees. This isn't 11 degrees. Um, this has come out of the fridge not long ago. So it's definitely not at 11 degrees for its best flavor. Let's pop that there. That little sip tasted good already. So uh, there it is. This is not jet black for a stout. I know my ring light is gonna be bouncing off that. So it's gonna reduce how much you can see, but it has got some light, not light, but kind of ready ruby type hues coming through the bottom. It's not completely jet black. Nice head, just off the tan colour head. Quite dense. Looks quite nice, doesn't it? Good looking stout. Let's see how it sniffs. Aroma's not massive. It's not not huge uh, it is only a five percent stout but it's got a nice powdery chocolate aroma to it definitely got a powdered chocolate but like a decent powdered chocolate not like nesquik <laughs> and almost vanilla it's actually developing a little bit yeah it's pretty good it smells good let's see how it tastes oh, cheers You can't go wrong with that. You can't go wrong with it. I'll be honest from the outset, it doesn't blow you away in terms of a stout. But it is a good drinking stout. It has got good flavours to it. It's 5% so the mouthfeel isn't massive. It is quite carbonated. Probably a little bit too much carbonation than I would like. It's got sweetness to it. It's got a sweetness to it that I don't remember from the last time I had this but there is a sweetness to it. And it just looks good as well. It just looks like how a stout should look, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a decent stout. It's an all-round decent stout. I've got no doubt if this was at 11 degrees, it'd probably taste even better than it does, but it still does taste good. I'm not saying it tastes bad by any measure. It's not. It's a good stout. For its money, for a 500ml bottle, it's less than three quid. I'm sure it is. It's not an expensive stout, and it's a good stout. Better than a lot of kind of cheap old stouts that you can get in supermarkets. And it's 5% ABV. It's a good ABV for a session. And it's just enjoyable. It's a good, enjoyable chocolate stout. Nice roasty malts. You really get that roasted chocolate malt in there. The chocolate malt works really well. It's got a nice roasted malt element to it. Has got a vanilla type sweetness to it. There's no way this has got lactose in it. 
not at five percent but it's got that type of feel to it yeah there's no lactose in there uh, organic cane sugar yeast organic hops organic cocoa extracts carbon dioxide yeah we know about that but yeah it's got a vanilla feel to it as well and it's like a vanilla sweetness it just kind of works nicely with that chocolate there's no real big kind of bitter finish that you can get with some chocolate stouts the bitterness on the back is quite minor let me just go for some more Yeah, it has got a bitter end to it, but it's not massive. It's not big and bold. So if you don't like strong, big, bitter stouts, then this is worth a pump. That might change at 11 degrees. That could change how that bitterness at the back, that whole chocolate complexity to it will change the, the 11 degrees compared to where it is now. But all in all, that's a good beer. It is exactly what it says on that bottle. It's an organic chocolate stout, and it's very, very nice. And I would pardon me and i would recommend you try it if you haven't already if you have had it let me know what you feel in the in the comments i always try and answer every comment that goes on pardon me it is very carbonated uh, but it's a good stout i enjoy it i have had it before it was a long time ago um and i'd have it again i like it i'm all done i'll see you on the next one take care bye now